are you going to bring tonight? What is it? I believe that, that I'm bringing all the energy I want. I believe that I'm going to knock down the shots that I can knock down. I believe that I'm not going to miss any screen out of tennis. I believe that I'm going to I'm going to cut the man off when I'm supposed to. Nobody's going by me. What is it? There's all kinds of things that you guys have right now going through your mind. What is it? Two or three key things for you that you believe. Okay, I want you to think about those things. Think about them. Tell them. I want you to speak them to yourself. Okay, I want you to tell yourself that you believe these things. Tell yourself you believe these things, whatever it is. I just gave you a whole bunch of examples. All right, now I want you to look up. I'm going to help you with some reasons why. So you just, you just thought through what do I believe. And you spoke it. Don't, don't underestimate, guys. I can tell you all kinds of science behind the power of the words that you speak to yourself. And really tell yourself something. I believe I'm going to do this. I believe I'm going to do this. There, are, there is physiological, tons of studies that show all kinds of physiological benefits of speaking those kind of words even to yourself, telling yourself. So we've done that. We said, we said we're going to talk about these beliefs within. We're going to speak it to ourselves. But now we got to say, okay, why is that? Why do I believe that way? First one. The first reason I'm going to give you why I believe you believe this way is you're prepared. You have prepared. Have you all worked hard this season? Who's worked hard in here this season? You had some tough practices that you pushed yourself? Right. Do you, your coaches know what they're doing? You think they, they've been here, they've done that? You've worked hard, you've prepared. So one of the big reasons that should lock in what I believe and why is, why do I believe this? I believe this because I'm prepared, right? I've prepared for this. My coaches have prepared for me for this. The second why, you don't believe me. You don't believe it because your teammates believe in me. This is a really big one, guys. This is a really big one that, that gets underestimated a lot of times. Because there's this thing that, that happens sometimes, you guys, on teams that we struggle um, learning the difference between competing and completing, right? We, 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 you know, we're all out here. There's five people on the floor at a time. We know that. There's more than five sitting in front of me. So there's this mindset sometimes that you want to compete, compete, compete. And that's good. But what's the ultimate? Yes. I think I heard that before. <laughs> Emphasize the point. Thanks. <laughs> compete, compete. But the ultimate, guys, is when you really switch that from not just competing but to completing. Why do you compete? You understand if you don't bring your best to your teammate, if you're going one-on-one -on -one in a drill with one of your teammates, do you guys understand? that if you are not giving your absolute best, if you are not dogging this guy out, do you understand that you're cheating him and you're cheating yourself? And you think, well, seriously, guys, you're not your best. And we won't be our best as a team. So, so this is really, and, and a lot of times what I see with teammates is it's hard for us to really show our support for each other, like really verbally, I mean, maybe texting. But I mean, like really eye to eye, say, I believe in you. Man, I believe in you. I want to tell you one of the most powerful sources of confidence, guys. I, I used to always teach this in the business world. Credible confidence communicate. It means it's somebody that's credible in your life, which each of you are credible, right? Your coaches are very credible people in your lives. Confidence communicate. It means that they look at you and they say, I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in the things that you believe. Okay, I believe in you. That's a powerful, powerful part of the why. So you believe it because you prepare. You believe it because you believe in each other and the coaches believe in you. The ultimate one is you believe it because it's a foundational aspect. It's, it's being on this team thing of being your best for your teammates. It's a foundational aspect of your very purpose in this life. Now I know this sounds crazy and we've talked for a long time. I won't go into a ton, a ton of detail on but guys, here's the bottom line. You, every one of you is created for relationships as a foundational aspect of your purpose. You were not created to be a basketball player. Okay? You're created for much, much, something much, much bigger. Now, that's a huge part of your life, especially right now. But that's not the foundation of your purpose. The foundation is, is what are you getting from the experience 
relationships. That's going to be what lasts. You talk to any former basketball player, you talk to any coach, and then you will always hear, guys, you will always hear the concept of it's about relationships. It's all that matters. When it's all said and done, that's what matters most. It's the memories that we have with each other. It's giving our best for each other. It's pushing each other. Going through the painful process of helping each other become the very best that you can be. That is relationships, guys. The love for each other is the most powerful motivator known to mankind. I could put a gun to any of your heads and you say, hey, no fear. Fear, right? I, I could put a gun and make you do an awful lot of things, right? But I'd never make you hurt somebody in genuine love. I can give you millions and millions of dollars. I can put this up here and say, hey, hey, here you go. Here's the big treasure. Now, pursue that. And you're not going to do it. It's going to hurt somebody you love. The bottom line is, if you see your house getting robbed or your car getting robbed, whatever, you're going to lose everything you ever own. See somebody in there, and they got a gun, and they're twice your size, or there's four people, whatever it is, and you can say, you know what, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. But put somebody in there you love. Right? You'll go through anything. That's what this has to be about, guys. Your belief, your belief in yourselves and your belief in each other has to be founded in the love for your teammates. The genuine love. And just to understand, guys, love is a choice. You don't always have to like each other. You won't, I promise. You'll learn that when you get married, too. <laughs> but you love because it's a choice. It's a choice to serve each other. It's a choice to be there for each other. It's a choice to push each other. It's a choice to encourage each other. It's a choice to show that you believe in each other. One of the greatest upsets in the history of mankind, you guys, you've all heard the story of David and Goliath, right? Why did David risk his life? If you read that story, you get the details, you'll see David risked his life because this guy was talking smack about the God that David loved and that he knew loved him. And he was, in essence, he was defiling him. And David was like, you know what? Hmm, not going to happen. Not on my watch. And he believed he would have not walked out there had he not believed with all his heart he was doing the right thing in the right ways and for the right reasons. Belief. It's a powerful, powerful thing. We know the results. Guys, the toughest thing I've ever done as a speaker. Last year, probably a month after I talked to you guys, from a family. They're 17 year old, superstar football player, he's a junior in high school, superstar baseball player. 17 years old, you guys have taken this all life. Power of belief can work in negative ways too. And unfortunately, this young man believed a lie. It cost him. We see, we all believe lies from time to time. Sometimes those lies hurt us over years. Sometimes they, they hurt us over 10 years or 20 years or 30 years. But sometimes, every once in a while, a lie will hurt you just like that. And that one cost his life right there. Maybe he didn't have enough people in his life, I don't know, expressing their belief and their love in him. Giving him a reason to not think that way. I don't, I don't know what all the circumstances were. But here's what really hit me about that funeral, guys. I had to speak in that funeral. And then at the end, I had to watch that team get up, walk in front of the casket for the last time. Here's these, these high school teammates, they all had their jerseys on. And here's the parents and, and, and this, this young man's younger brother and sister. He's laying in this casket. And I see these players walking by, guys, and they're just crying their eyes out. They're crying their eyes out. I happen to think, I happen to ask myself, you know, I wonder how many of those tears have anything to do with the fact that we lost our leading tackle. We lost our, our quarterback. We lost anything that had to do with How many of those tears had to do with that today, guys? They had to do with the fact they lost their brother. You never know. This is an unbelievable opportunity, guys. Every single time you lace them up, every single time you get together in a row like this, if you get on a bus, you get in a hotel, every single opportunity is an opportunity of a lifetime. And you never know. So the question is, what are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with it to be the best? I'm going to tell you that you got to believe. 
I'm going to challenge you to take those thoughts that I challenged you with a little bit ago, those belief thoughts of one or two or three things, whatever they are, and you say it over to yourself over and over today. Here's the other thing that I want to challenge you to do, guys. And I'm going to be at the game tonight, so I might just ask a few of you if you did. But here's the other thing I'm going to challenge you to do. I'm going to challenge you to go to at least three of your teammates. Go to at least three of your teammates and say, hey, man, what do you believe in today? And I want you, I want you to hear what they have to say about what they believe they're going to bring tonight. What do you believe in today? I'm going to bring energy. What do you believe in today? I'm going to ever I'm not going to miss one screen out. I'm going to, you know, whatever it is, what do you believe in today? When they tell you that, you know what you're going to say to them? I believe you. I believe you. Because I believe every one of us. We're going to pull together. We're going to be there. That's how we're going to be our best tonight. I promise you. Your best tonight. As far as we Bring your best. Nothing less. And only you will know when you walk in the line. All right? That's the challenge. You got it? I believe. Unbreakable belief. That's what you got tonight. That's what I hope to see. Thanks, guys. Thanks, I appreciate you.